You have alertly seized your opportunities and are now on the first rung of the ladder. You are working in the mailroom. One word of caution about the mailroom, it is a place out of which you must get. Some of your rivals will not have the advantage of this knowledge, but you are forewarned. Do not get stuck in the mailroom. Plan to rise. Finch, where are you going? What have you got there? It's the executive mail. I'll take that. Trying to get in good on the inside, huh? I can't even take a coffee break around here. But I'm merely trying to do my job. The executive mail is my job. Listen, Finch, if you have any ideas of climbing the ladder around here, the view is going to get awfully monotonous. Every time you look up, you'll see the seat of my pants. Rotten, rotten, rotten. You know, Bud Crump is just jealous of you. He's trying to get the big executives from noticing you. Thank you for defending me, Miss Puffy. Oh, please call me Rosemary. Okay, Rosemary. No, Mr. Finch. Call me Ponty. Okay, Ponty. The big executives will notice you soon enough. You just have to be patient. Patient? Do you realize I've been working here for one whole week? I know, Ponty. I haven't forgotten. Anniversary. Thank you, Miss Puffington. At least you noticed me. I wish I were a big executive. Wide-eyed. Uh-oh. Here comes Judith Anderson. Huh? That's Miss Jones, Mr. Bigley's secretary. I thought her look busy. And you too. Pardon me, ma'am. You should be wearing this. It goes through their hair. Young man. Yes? You just want me to have this flower. You don't know who I am. Well, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that the flowers seem to cry out to be worn by you. Young man, I miss Jones, Mr. Bigley's secretary. No, you can't be. I mean, that is, you just can't be. Why not? But from Bud Frump's description of you, I'd never have. I mean, you're not a frightened person. Thank you. It's not a place for me to say, Miss Jones. I think you're a very attractive person, no matter what Bud from says. What did you say your name was again? Uh, Finch, ma'am. Pear Pond Finch. How's it I haven't seen you before? Well, I'm not supposed to deliver the executive mail. That's his job. Bud Frump. F-R-U-M-P. Thank you, Finch. You're welcome, Miss Jones. Hey, Jones. I'd like an appointment with the boss in round three. Oh, I'll check on him and I'll let you know. Flowers, you got a new boyfriend, Jonesy? This was given to me by a very nice young man. You should know him, Finch. Yes? Finch, this is Mr. Gatch. How do you do, Mr. Gatch? Hello. Mr. Gatch would be a good man for you to know. His department is very important. Well, I know all about Mr. Gatch. He's in charge of plans and systems and interdepartmental evaluation. Also, pre-promotional promotion, post-administrative research, and multi-development on a multi-level level. 
This is a smart one, Jonesy. I didn't even know I did all that. <laughs> Very fine man, Mr. Gatt. I hear he has an opening in his department. He has, he, he does, but he hasn't been able to make his mind. Well, thank you, Finch. You're welcome, Miss Jones. Hi, Jonesy. Miss Jones, frumpy. Save Rosemary. Um, Finch! Quit goofing off. You've got to pick up the second delivery. Right, old butt, old buddy boy. Well, I gotta go to work, Rosemary. Thanks for the flower. Thanks for the flower? You gave my flower to Miss Jones. Rosemary, certainly you don't begrudge an old lady a moment of happiness. Well, I guess it is important for you to be nice to Miss Jones. I'm glad you understand that. See you later, Rosemary. Goodbye. Well, Rosemary, how are you doing? Oh, Smitty, I... Smitty, what's the opposite of a sex maniac? A businessman. <laughs> Outside line. No, this call is not personal. I'm calling my mother. <laughs> Thanks. As soon as I'm working around here, I'll clear out the hole. Oh, hello, mother. Bud. I know I left without the, my sweater this morning, but it's warm. Anyways, listen, mother. There's something very important going on. There's going to be a new head of the mailroom, and I want the job. So you have to call Aunt Gertrude and... I know I'm next in line, but there's this new guy around here who worries me. He comes in on time, never goofs off. He's polite. You know, a real rat. Yes, what do you want, Miss Jones? Mr. B, your wife is calling. Well, tell her I'm busy. Tell her I'm in a meeting. Tell her I'm out. Damn it, put her on. <coughs> Hello, Gertrude. Glad you called. What's on your mind? I'm busy. Uh-huh. Well, Gertrude, I can't help but there. The head of the mailroom should pick his own successor. I can't switch signals in the middle of a play. It would upset the whole team. If I interfered, that would be nepotism. Nepotism. That's when your nephew is a goddamn fool. Well, I'll see. Miss Jones, I've told you that talking to my wife upsets me. Well, JB, you said to put her on. Never yet. mind. I, I need something to calm my nerves. Where's my, you know? It's beside your chair, Mr. Bigley. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get going, boys. Yes, sir, Mr. Trumbull, I've already started sorting. Finch, as head of this entire mailroom, I would like to say that I'm very pleased with your work. Well, thank you, sir. You really have an inborn gift for mail rumory. Well, thank you, Mr. Trumbull. That means a lot to me from you. Hello! Mail rumory! No! Mail room! Just a minute. For you, Twimble. It's Brat personnel. Uh, this may be a very important call for some of us. Hello? What's the idea, Finch? What's the idea of what, bud? You know, you're trying to butter up Twimble. Well, believe me, it won't work. But simply because I'm being nice to a man doesn't mean that I have to have an angle. You know, if anybody's going to get his job, you know it. Talk to Mr. Bratt. Thanks very much. Well, it looks as if they're going to promote old Twimble to the shipping department. Congratulations, sir. Who's going to be the new head of the mailroom? I won't say till it's official, but Mr. Bratt is going to leave the choice to me. Twimble, he said, the mailroom is the nerve center 